what up y'all and welcome back to another one me and Fred in the truck like every other foul Friday what do you think man oh there goes the tail right when the camera hits him look uh-huh oh what a sweet guy but another foul Friday on these foul Fridays they're laid back uh, it's just go with the flow type of day and we just left the post office picked up the mail from the P.O. box and it's the same as last week three three pieces of mail the same that's crazy I seven days back to back uh, actually it's been three times now uh, once a week that I've checked the P.O. box and every time three pieces so you know what that means next week we have to have more than three envelopes in that mailbox for the foul Friday I think it's awesome uh, towards the end of the video uh, open these up and reading them to y'all and um, really good stories really good people out there I appreciate you guys uh, in these hard times with everything going on uh, I can't say the name of it all because it, you know that on YouTube yeah but anyways everything that's going on uh, I just want everybody to keep their heads up uh, everybody is at home maybe you're not making the greatest money right now I know I'm not I know a lot of us aren't because a lot of us are off work. Uh, just know, keep your head up. This is going to pass. It's going to get better. Uh, better things to come. You know what I mean? I don't so, I want to bring you guys a lot of entertaining content during this time because a lot of you are stuck at home. Hold on, someone's looking at me. I don't want to look weird talking to a camera. Yep, thank you for leaving. Uh, but during these times... Uh, I want to, like I was saying, I want to bring good videos for y'all. You know what I mean? So, I have three videos coming one snow goose it's the last snow goose probably the last one of the season I would imagine it's a, it's about a two it's about two weeks old I've been saving it for y'all and then y'all seen on my Instagram uh, the spoonbill catching oh my goodness yes I went spoonbill fishing that video is is amazing be expecting that one that one's is awesome caught a banded fish that's all I'm gonna say and on top of that I have started well, I started booking hunts, but we're pretty much booked up. The guide service for this coming fall season, uh, December's pretty booked up, November's pretty booked up. I left two dates in December and November for big groups. Big groups, like 8, 10, 12, 14 people groups. So if you're one of them, hit me up on Instagram. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Uh, I re can reply right back to you if you want to book a hunt, a big one. So, there's a lot of... There, there is a bunch of January dates left as well. But like every Foul Friday, uh, we're going to go check the pigeon traps real quick. They need checked. And then we're going to go home and uh, we're going to go over th the three and a half verse three inch shell. Uh, I always used to preach to the choir, but now I have a whole new whole new thought on it. So I'm gonna, we're going to get out of this truck. You better stay right there while we go check these traps, dude. Don't be getting up here. Don't be crawling up here. You know the drill. We are here. Check the pigeon traps. I like these foul Fridays. Like, you guys are always going to know what to expect. Nothing going to be crazy and new. It's always going to be the same routine. You know what I mean? With your guys' mail at the end. Now, I forgot to tell y'all the mail. If you guys want to send mail, fan mail, to my P.O. box, my P.O. box is down in the description. Go down there. The entire address is down there. Come on, send something. We got to get more than three letters this coming week. Oh, well, we're up here and uh, it is cold. We had a cold front come through last night. It's at like 30, 32 degrees with a lot of wind. Here we go. I don't think we'll have anything, to be honest. We haven't had any luck lately. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Look at that. All the other corn that I threw out, gone. They are not getting tricked by these traps anymore. Well, back home. Oh, it's windy. Like I said, it's cold. But I want to show you guys this real quick. A ton of you have been asking, Bob, when are you going to move them pigeons here to the new place? Look, I'm getting ready to. Plus, we're buying some new pigeons. Buying and or their give to us. But I'm going to show you where I'm going to put the new pigeon loft. Sorry for the wind. This is where I'm thinking, right here on the back side of the shop. Right here, there's a little bitty hill. Put it up here against the shop boom make it real long probably gonna make it at least probably 15 to 20 foot long it's gonna be awesome i don't want to have this just blown out by the wind but right here is where the new pigeon loft is gonna go 
Now I want to make it big enough so the pigeons can actually fly back and forth, you know, from one end to the other. We are here, boys and gals. The old shop, we're here. This is where we're going to be doing a lot of the Foul Fridays, guys. Just like last week, the old flower chair. You know the deal. All right, we have our three letters, which we're going to get to here in a minute. But first of all, three and a half inch versus three inch. Look at that size difference. Um, I've made at least one other video about this before, and a lot of y'all seen me get my three and a half inch gun uh, this year, which I haven't had for an extremely long time. Uh, I haven't had a three and a half inch gun for a really, 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 really long time. So uh, this was the first year in a long time since I've even fired a three and a half inch steel load at any type of waterfowl. So here's my deal is uh, in the prior videos, I've always said, with three inches, you can get it done. I mean, I have killed more birds at farther distances throughout my life with a three inch shell. And that's the reason, and the main reason is, is because I've just used them all the time. Now, going to the three and a half, uh, I have to say, after using three and a half inch shells, it's one of them things where if I wanna run them, I'll run them. Uh, on honkers, I absolutely love them. Uh, a lot of times you guys know how tough honkers can be, especially when it's January and they got that really, really thick coat of fat on them. Three and a half at 40 yards, 45 yards, it's going to get it done. Now, here Fred, here, come here buddy, come sit down, you're just wandering around, come here, sit. Good boy, that's Frederick. Now, three and a half, uh, here's my experience with them this year since, you know, like I said, I haven't ran them for so long. I will tell you what, uh, there's a lot of guys out there that always say, Bob, I don't care what you say about three and a halfs. If they made a four inch, I'd be shooting it. And hey, I hear you, I hear you. And I have to agree. Um, now, the three inch, here's my thing. Three and a halfs this year after I shoot, boom, getting lined up on another bird, boom. It's a lot harder to maintain good accuracy uh, with a three and a half inch shell on the on the second and third shot compared to the three inch. That's because of just how much they kick. They're hammers. Now these are three and a half inch BB, ounce and a half black cloud, and I love them. Love them, love them, love them. I mean, they did work on the birds this year when I used them. All I can say is if you guys got the money for three and a halfs and you want to just there's a huge difference. I mean, uh, on a lot of other videos, when I, I always had said, you know, three inches, the, the difference isn't much. No, the difference is a ton. I remember uh, plenty of birds going away from me and just completely wrecking them from the back. So, my deal is, my advice and tip to you guys is um, get comfortable with three inches. I mean, if you're laying in the decoys and you're gonna have them birds pretty close, the three inch shell should get it done. If you're gonna be on the edge of the spread, or let's say you're in an A-frame and you have the spread way out in front of you, that's a good opportunity to use three and a halfs because that spread is already 20, 30 yards out there. You need something that's gonna get out there over that spread and shoot them birds. Now, what I'm getting at is this year, I sat a lot of spreads like that. I put them out you know, in front of me, 15, 20 yards, and the reaction of the birds was a lot better than laying in them. Like you can imagine, just letting the decoys do their job without any human bodies in there. But it always resulted in a farther shot. You're a lot farther from them birds. That right there is when the three and a half can really come in and do some work for you. There's many hunts that I look back on. And if I would have had a three and a half inch in while in an A-frame, while out of the spread, I would have shot a lot more birds, hands down. I can tell you this coming season, I'm probably gonna be shooting three and a half a lot more. The knockdown power compared to a three inch shell is crazy. And uh, you gotta think how many more BBs uh, that a three and a half inch actually holds. So you imagine a three inch BB compared to a three and a half inch BB. Uh, I need to look at the numbers, but I would probably have to guess the three inch has like right at 95 to 100 pellets, 87, 90 pellets in it. And the three and a half probably has, in BB, I'm talking about BB size, I'm guessing 150, 170 maybe. That's just a wild guess. Probably 150, somewhere around there. So 
You can imagine going to like a three and a half inch two. It's going to have a lot of BBs in that shell with a lot of bang and propellant behind it. So, you all know the deal. I don't have to describe what three and a half inches do. They're bangers. And I got to say, I love them. Now, the only shell that I used in three and a half inch, like I said this year, was this right here. I need to get some number two, but Black Cloud three and a half inch BB, whoo, they were hammers. I loved them. Um, I'm probably gonna start using them more. This coming season, to be honest. What do you think, Fred? Did you like the three and a halfs? He don't know. So, uh, my final word on three and a halfs is, um, a lot of you were right in them old videos. A lot, a lot of you were saying, Bob, look, you can brag about your three inches all you want, but until you uh, start shooting three and a halfs more often and seeing the difference, you'll be you'll be hooked on them. And I and I have to agree. I mean, they they destruction destruction. I'm telling you, it's a big difference. I eat my words on those old videos from back in the day. So enough with that. If you guys have any videos you want me to cover, my my thoughts, my theories, my tips, my ideas. Anything gun, shotgun, ammo, hunting, goose, duck hunting related, pigeons, I don't care what it is, drop a comment down below. Let me know what videos y'all want. Look at old Frederick, isn't he just a sweetie? Let's get into these letters. We got three today. Uh, like I said earlier, I am expecting more than three next week. Next Foul Friday, there better be more than three letters. Like I said, the P.O. box is linked down in the description. The first one comes from Maine, uh, West from, from Dorso, West Gardner, Maine. Fred and Bobby. This one's for you too, buddy. Let's see what he says. Fred and Bobby, I've been watching your channel for over a year now. You not only taught me more about waterfowl and hunting, but be thankful for everything you have. I have a dog that I turned to a duck hunt dog. It truly makes the hunt more enjoyable. Hey, I completely agree with that. Congrats on the new house. Thank you, sir. He said, maybe not this year, but definitely next year, my dad and I will be booking a hunt with you and your outfitter. Hope to, hope to meet old Fred and you soon. Hey, thanks, Ryan and Kiara. That's his dog's name. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, Ryan from Maine. Awesome letter. All these letters, I gotta make, I don't make. My, my wife reads them and she just, the last one almost made her tear up. It's so awesome. I, I appreciate you guys so much sending your letters, going out of your way, spending your money on a stamp, you know? It means a bunch to us. Don't it, Fred? He agrees. Next one. This is from Combs uh, from North Kakalaki. Wow. Hi, Bobby. My name is Elliot. I am 13 and I live in North Carolina. I've been subscribed since you started YouTube. You must have been one of the first ones then, dude. I would love to book a hunt with you. It would be a far drive, but I will be down for it to hunt with you and Fred. P.S. Keep making them good videos. That's our job. That's me and Fred's job is to make these videos for y'all. Said congrats on the lodge and the new house. Hey, thanks, Elliot. All the way from North Carolina. How cool is that? I love reading these letters. I love meeting y'all. I, I truly, truly appreciate y'all. It's so fun, man. Again, you can send anything you want. Uh, just make sure it's legal, safe, uh, appropriate for the channel. You know what I mean? This one, ooh, this is typed out, man. Hi, Bobby and Fred from South Florida. William from South Florida, Homestead, Florida. Oh, man, he tore his Achilles tendon. Uh, September 27th, and it sounds like during that time, man, he watched all the videos. He watched the video of me going and getting Fred with my dad, uh, saying he loves the survival stuff, the catch, clean, cook, which, heads up, there'll be more, sur I'll, I'm going to do some survival videos. I'm going to do a lot of camping, cooking videos. Uh, those are coming. But he just says thanks for all the videos. Uh, he loves Fred. Uh, man. Thank you. That's a long, I, I, I can't read all that, but dude, William, thank you so much, man. Bill. He likes to be called Bill. Thanks, Bill. My goodness. He's in the U.S. Air Force. Thank you for your service, buddy. He said, are you a, Jay a Jayhawk or a Wildcat? Am I a Jayhawk or a Wildcat? Man, I'm a fan of both. Um, I'm going to sound really, really, really cliche when I say, oh, I watch Jayhawk basketball and K-State football. So cliche, right? 
I got to say, I'm a K-State fan, but I don't watch any of the sports. I just like Manhattan. It's an awesome place to go party. But, Bill, dude, thank you so much for sending your letters. Three of them today. Uh, I, we appreciate you. Don't we, Frederick? Yes. Yes, we do. But real quick, other than Mel, check out what Kaylee... We have a subscriber named Kaylee. Look what she sent for it. A custom leather collar. It says three and a half inch shell right there. It's got a Canada goose, a snow goose. And right here, it actually has his name, Fred. It's got a mallard right there. And then it says ducks. How cool is that bad boy? Looking pretty good there, Frederick. Pretty sharp, pretty sharp. Kaylee, thank you so, so much. That collar. Fred will wear that collar for a long time. It is a very, very nice collar. Thank you so much for sending that. You are a sweetheart. And old Fred's definitely gonna be getting more chicks because of how good he looks with it on, for sure. But, long story short, I eat my words when I always said, you don't need three and a half. Look, in certain situations, I would say you need them. Just like I was saying, if the decoys are way out in front of you, if you're going to be past shooting honkers, if you know that you're going to be taking long shots and you have the option, run three and a halfs. I wouldn't run three and a halfs all the time. I would never run three and a halfs on duck hunts. I wouldn't do that. I would use three and a halfs for geese, probably in geese only. But I know today's video was not crazy exciting. These foul Fridays, they're not going to be crazy exciting. They're just a time for us to sit down, chill and talk. Please, like I said before, guys, please be safe out there right now with these trying times, all this sickness going around. Do your best not to spread it. Uh, wash your hands a ton. Uh, have hand sanitizer on you in your vehicle. Be safe. Be smart. You know what I mean? The, the smarter we can control this, the faster it's going to be gone. I'm here to try to entertain you while we're all stuck at home. So be expecting next video to be absolutely awesome. We got three videos that are absolutely awesome coming y'all's way be sure to subscribe if you haven't hit that little notification bell on there because it will notify you when i upload shout out to my notification squad i love y'all and follow me on instagram because i'm doing a lot of live videos a lot of live stuff on the story a lot of entertaining things over there because we're all again cooped up but until next time peace your criticism pessimism i've been keeping it on the dl got a girl